In this new video, we're going to discuss the entire topic of AM script functions. As we'll see, there are countless functions that you can use for various manipulations, such as dates, data extensions, and even security encryption. We'll cover quite a few of them, and then we'll provide you with a reference link where you can find more. Since each scenario might require different functions, we'll give you an overview, and the specific functions related to data extensions will be covered in the next chapter of this course. The structure of a function consists of a name enclosed in parentheses where we would input parameters, and it will return a transformed result. We'll now delve into the specifics of each function. What's mentioned on this slide is that you have the URL where you can consult all the functions available in AM script. We'll also include it in the video description for your easier access. Here, we can observe the variety of functions available in AM script. There are several types of functions, some more advanced, which may not be necessary for an introductory course. As you delve further into the language, you'll be able to utilize different types of functions. There are functions for data handling, enabling interaction with marketing clouds data extensions, thereby empowering the programming language. Additionally, there are functions for working with strings, mathematical operations, dates, API manipulation within marketing cloud, and content management. For instance, if you wish to call and display pre-created content from marketing cloud in an email, functions associated with HTTP requests allow you to communicate with external URLs, sending and receiving information. Similarly, encryption functions add an extra layer of security. The synergy between Salesforce CRM and Marketing Cloud as an automation tool is noteworthy. You can interact with the CRM, query or update information directly from Marketing Cloud, which is particularly useful for maximizing the potential of this combination. Furthermore, there are utilities and functions for social and security aspects, among others. As the name suggests, we provide the reference link to all AM script functions for detailed consultation, should you wish to explore them further. You can find the link here, provided link. In summary, AM script offers a wide range of functions to address diverse needs and enhance your marketing strategies. And now, we begin with the first function, as concise as a V. The function's name, stemming from the necessity to access the value of a variable, is quite straightforward. So, when you declare a variable, as shown in the example with the name John, and you wish to retrieve and display it in the HTML of an email, as illustrated here, you can't simply input the variable directly for printing. Instead, you need to employ the v function, denoted as v, followed by parentheses and the variable you intend to print. In this case, we'll be utilizing a series of functions categorized as string. These functions are designed for text manipulation. The usage is straightforward it involves the function name followed by the text you wish to format. Here, we've presented three formatting options. 1. Proper case capitalizes the first letter of each word while converting the rest to lowercase. 2. Lowercase converts all letters to lowercase. 3. Uppercase converts all letters to uppercase. We provide practical examples of usage and the respective outcomes for each function. This information is listed on the right, serving as a quick reference for deeper exploration into these string function categories. Moving further, there's an array of other string functions. Some of these are used for formatting such as format and concat previously introduced for text concatenation. Indexof locates a specific substring within a larger string and returns its position. Length calculates the length of a string. Replace swaps specific text instances, a common case being replacing line breaks with br for HTML rendering. Lastly, trim eliminates leading and trailing white spaces from a string. This can be particularly useful when dealing with data that might contain unintended spaces. For more detailed descriptions and usage examples, you can refer to the provided link. 
These functions greatly expand the possibilities of what you can achieve with text manipulation. In this case, we'll delve into the format function in AM script. As you can see, the structure comprises four main components, numbered from one to four. First is the variable you wish to format. Secondly, you define the desired format. Next, you specify how you want to extract information from this formatted input. Optionally, you can indicate the values type, whether it's a date or a number. Lastly, the fourth argument, also optional, can be an ISO code for regional settings. You can find these ISO codes on platforms, like Wikipedia, they are commonly used for regional formats. For instance, in the examples provided, you can witness how regional settings influence formatting. If you set the regional format to ENUS English United States, decimals are represented with a dot. Exploring further, you'll encounter specific functions designed for particular formatting needs format date, format number, and format currency. Nevertheless, the format function can cover a wide range of formatting requirements. While not frequently used, understanding the broader spectrum of options is valuable. Dates, in particular, benefit from this function, as it enables the portrayal of various date formats based on regional preferences. Below are several examples. One demonstrates formatting a number, where decimals are denoted with a dot. The regional aspect is set to an English format. Moving to date formatting, the inversion of month and day is evident, as you'd find in regions like France. Lastly, an intriguing instance involves using the regional parameter for numbers, but with linguistic effects. The result showcases the use of the regional aspect, depicting Vendredi, French for Friday, and the month's name. The F, N2, and similar formats are standardized and predefined, simplifying the process. Referencing the provided link on the top right corner is advisable for in-depth understanding and exploration of these functionalities. This AM script guide source is an excellent companion to Salesforce's own AM script documentation, offering comprehensive insights into ISO codes, formatting types, function descriptions, and further illustrative examples. Keep this web resource handy for enriched understanding of AMP scripts capabilities. Now, let's delve into mathematical functions. We'll use an example that highlights a common mistake in AM script assuming that the straightforward mathematical expression, such as 5 plus 10, would work as expected. However, in AM script, mathematical operations require functions. Even for simple additions, like 5 plus 10, you need to employ functions. If you need to sum up several numbers, you either nest these operations, or store intermediate results in variables, subsequently reassigning these variables for each sum. Similarly, for subtractions, you use subtract, for multiplications, multiply, and for divisions, divide. Moving on, there are two additional functions, modulo and random. Modulo, abbreviated as mod, is used with two parameters, for instance, 1 and 2. It calculates the remainder when the first number is divided by the second. So, if you input 5 for the first parameter and 2 for the second, the result would be 1. If you provide 8 and 4, the result would be 0. On the other hand, random generates a random number within a specified range. You set the minimum and maximum values using parameters 1 and 2. For instance, using random 110 would produce a random number between 1 and 10. Remember, mathematical operations in AM script involve these specific functions and parameters, providing a powerful toolset for various calculations. To conclude, let's explore the concat function, which finds extensive use, particularly in emails. When you're building a string by combining multiple variables, concatenation is a common practice. First, you create a concatenated variable, and then you print it within the email content. In this example, we can observe how the first name and last name are concatenated and then printed. In other programming languages, 
concatenation might involve using the addition sign plus or the dot operator dot in languages like PHP. However, in AM script, the concat function is the method of choice. Remember, the concat function allows you to merge different variables into a single string, making it an indispensable tool when crafting dynamic content for your emails or other AM script applications. Now, let's examine a straightforward example that demonstrates the application of the functions we've discussed earlier. In this code snippet, we declare a series of variables that we'll use for these examples. Below, you'll find an illustration of how each function is used. Concatenation, we combine the first name and last name with a space in between. Addition, we add 10 to the age using the add mathematical function. We format the name to be in proper case. We use the format function to display the date of birth in a long format without including the time. The example demonstrates how to apply these functions and print their results using the v function. To see the outcomes, we open the provided URL in a web browser which executes the code and displays the results. The displayed results show the name, last name, age, concatenated full name, age after addition, name in proper case, and the formatted date of birth. By the way, we'd like to mention that we have a comprehensive AMP script manual for marketing available, and it's completely free. We invite you to download it from the URL mentioned here. This manual serves as a valuable companion to all these videos.